adding mixed numbers practice. In the first example, we have negative 3 and 1 over 4 plus negative 2 and 1 over 6. Start by adding the whole numbers together. So negative 3 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 5. Now we add the fractions together. Remember when we add the fractions, we need a common denominator. A common denominator to 4 and 6 will be 12. So 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Multiply the numerator by 3. So negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. 6 times 2 is equal to 12. And then negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Now that we have a common denominator, we can add the fractions together. So negative 3 over 12 plus negative 2 over 12 and negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5, and the denominator stays the same at negative 12. Now we add our totals together. So we have negative 5 plus negative 5 over 12, and that's going to equal negative 5 and 5 over 12. For the next example, we have 1 and 4 over 7 plus negative 5 and 2 over 3. Start by adding the whole numbers together. So 1 plus negative 5 is equal to negative 4. Now we add the fractions. Remember, when adding the fractions, we need a common denominator, which will be 21. So 7 times 3 is 21. And 4 times 3 is going to be 12. 3 times 7 is going to be 21. So multiply the numerator by 7, so negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. Now we can add the fractions because we have a common denominator. So 12 over 21 plus negative 14 over 21. Negative 14 plus 12 is going to be negative 2, and that's going to be over the denominator of 21. So the answer is negative 2 over 21. Now we'll add our totals together. So negative 4 plus negative 2 over 21 is going to be negative 4 and 2 over 21.